Welcome everyone back to Hurley's Hobbies. My name is Julie. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to be starting on the blankets that I'm going to be making for our children. I'm going to start with the oldest boys. He wanted a king size and firemen or fire department related. So I got this fabric online. My husband ordered it for me actually. Uh, so I'm going to be using the black, red, and white fabrics to go with it. I also have the black ribbon that I use for our bedroom quilt. I use, I'm going to be using the black one for this one. When I bought, I went to the estate sale a couple summers ago. I bought the fabric that I'm going to be using for the backing for the blanket. I also bought her sewing machine table, which had a sewing machine inside of it and a whole bunch of accessories. And I was, uh, I was going through, I found this uh, yardage card for quilters. Um, she must have owned like a sewing shop or been an apprentice for sewing or I don't know, something because she had all kinds of different things. And as I'm learning more about, you know, sewing with a sewing machine, I have discovered that I can use some of these things. So one of the things on the back of this card, it shows the different sizes, and I'll do a close-up of this, but it shows the different sizes and for each like um, twin, double, queen, and king, what size to make the comforters. And it also shows the yardage that you need. I'm not really sure if the yardage is appropriate, um, for what I'm going to be doing. I think it calls for if you're using like a solid color, just one fabric. But anyway, it was a guideline for the size. So what I did was on my index card here, I figured that I wanted to do 100 by 92. So the width is 100 wide by 92 for the length for my king size. So that means I need like 20, I'm going to do it the same as the bedroom one, 20 panels. So I need 20 squares cut out of this. And let's see, my, the strips I'm going to be doing, I either have to do them um, three and a half inches wide, some of those for the width, and the lengthwise ones only three inches. So I believe that's going to be correct, um, but I'll, I'll take a snapshot of this too and include that. So I guess let me get all my, my little tools out and I will be back with you shortly. All right, everyone, I'm back. I noticed that, well, I believe I said that I wanted to do 20 panels, just like our bedroom quilt. But on, I don't know, some of you might have noticed on the card, my index card that I drew up, I have five by six. So that means I'm going to need 30 of them, not just 20. You get it more in the center. So my width of those will be 20 inches and the length will be 15. Just, I'm going to do the squares like I did for the animals on my bedroom quilt. I'm going to do them with the fire department fabric. So then my centers, well, let's see, my centers will be eight and a half by five and a half inches. And then, so for the width, I'm going to need four Four strips on each side, I believe. <laughs> I'm going to do one mock-up to make sure that this comes out right, you know, the way I want it, so that it's roughly the 20 by 15 inches. 
Um, but those I'll need three and a half inch strips. And for the length ones, I should only need three inch strips and I'll need four of those as well on each side. So I'm doing it a little more uniform than I did our bedroom quilt because I, I like the inconsistency of the look for our bedroom quilt. And if you want to see that, just go back and review some of my old videos. Um, because I don't know how to link them yet. I'm still learning how to do all this videoing and editing and all that kind of stuff. My husband is teaching me, but I, I have a real problem with short-term memory. So it, you know, I, I can't learn a lot of stuff that I should be. You know, I'm not retaining it anyway. But this, this is the plan, what I plan to do. So like I said, I will do one and do a mock-up of it and see how it comes out. So the first thing I have to do is cut out my square, my center, my centerpiece for each panel. So I will be doing that and I will get back to you. All right, everyone, I have my Fiskars tools out that I use all the time. This backing board here is a Fiskars. This is a Fiskars. And my roller tool is a Fiskars. What I'm going to do at first, because the words are running, you know, like you normally read them, I'm going to, I need uh, five and a half inches um, deep here. For, you know the height of it and this tool here I believe is six and a half so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a strip across and of course I didn't get it all the way through get my handy dandy scissors which I believe are Fiskars as well and remember I'm not sponsored by them but I absolutely love Everything that I have that I use on a normal basis, I, I just like them. I just like it. So, so now I'm going to be using this fabric strip to cut out my eight and a half by five and a half. Okay, and because I'm right handed, I'm going to flip this around, use my handy dandy straight edge, get it pretty close to the salvage to take off the salvage. Okay. So let's see. I want eight and a half. Let's see, I have to actually run it up. No, I'm going to have to turn my fabric around again. So this kind of stuff is what confuses me. So on this side, you have starting from 1 on up to 24. And on the other side, it goes 1 on the left up to 24 here on the right. And then this little... This edge here is your half inch for your, you know, sewing your seams if you do quarter inch seams. So what I need to do is find the eight inch. Since I want eight inches and I want the half, so I have to do eight and a half. This is not quite square, which I kind of figured that. Okay, so there's my first one. I'll have to square this up a lot better this side here. Don't want to take off quite that much. This is the hardest part for me, I think. Or one of the, you know, because I can sew and I can do that, all that other stuff. But if you don't have your, like your squares right in the beginning, if you don't have them perfectly to the right size, when you sew them together, it's not going to end up great. Like my, 
my blanket quilt came out really nice. But, you know, I mean, if I had taken more time and patience with it, I could have, I could have done a lot better job. So I'm going to flip this upside down and put it on the five. I'm trying to do a really good job because this is a gift for my children, for my oldest son and his wife. So, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it looks nice. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side and I'm actually going to measure it on this thing. So I'll go over, where's my one right here? So one by eight and a half. Looks like I might be in maybe an eighth or a sixteenth over, but that's close enough. And one, two, three, four, five and a half. So there's there's my first square. <laughs> Yay. All right. I'll get this stuff put away and get my red, white, and black fabrics out. And we'll move on. Okay, everyone, I decided while I had my fabric out, I was just going to go ahead and cut all 30 panels. I do have enough fabric so that if it doesn't work out, I can cut, I can cut more squares out. So I just decided to go ahead and do all 30 panels. So I did that. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I will... Uh, Start doing the stripes, cutting those out in the near future here. But I, I do need to take a break. I've been at this for quite a few hours. So uh, thank you for watching me. Thank you for watching the videos. And if you like what you see, please hit the like button. And any comments, questions, or anything, please leave those for me as well. And everyone have a great day. Bye.